is John Paul Ryan. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I'm gonna do a reaction video. It's been a long time since I did one, but once in a while I do them. The reaction is Gotham High. Now, Gotham High is the new half Chinese Batman where Alfred is gay, and let's see how it looks. It's basically a lot like the new Warriors where the likes are very, very low and the dislikes are very, very high. Right now, it's sitting on 25,000 dislikes to 2,200 likes which is not quite as extreme as the new Warriors, which hit 190,000 dislikes to about, you know, three or 4,000 likes, but 25,000 to two is not such a good statistic either. So, let's take a look at this thing. Welcome to Gotham High, where everyone worships the rich and the beautiful, and no one is richer or more handsome than Bruce Wayne. He doesn't have friends, he has followers. My friend Jack Napier has nothing to his name, except good looks and a wicked sense of humor. The problem is that I love them both. I'm Selena Kyle, that girl next door. And in my opinion, a triangle is a perfect shape. Okay, so that was not made for Batman fans. I've followed Batman for like 35 years on and off. My father's actually a Batman fan, and he's followed Batman since the 50s, something like that. So it's not really made for us. It's made for just some new generation of people who have probably never heard of Batman and just want to see some stupid high school drama. It doesn't really seem like it could sell anything or be successful. And did they know that? Do they know this? They have to know that it's not going to appeal to their long-term fan base. So I'm at a loss of why they're making it. Is it for money? Is it the message? If it's the message, people are seriously rejecting it. It can't be for money. There's not much profit. So I'm really starting to get lost as to why they're doing it. I thought it was mostly message and they were making some money. But with the reactions of the fans, it just seems like there's no point to it. And the sad thing is, if they released a solid Batman comic now that was traditional and stuck with the core concepts, stuck with the good stories like always, they'd probably sell a lot. People are dying for good shit. Same thing with Marvel. If they made some good characters, re-released X-Men, maybe Rogue, Wolverine, badass stuff like that, kept the politics out, people be like, all right, cool, yeah, let's support Marvel. Let's help Marvel in this, you know, rough time. Same thing with DC. But in the roughest of times, they released the dumbest, dumbest shit they could possibly think of, and I'm pretty dumbfounded. And by the way, they turn comments off. They don't even want to hear it anymore. They're just like, well, look at our crap, eat our trash, and don't even tell us how you feel. At least they left the likes and dislikes on because they can shut those off too. So, alright, cool. Props to you guys for at least taking your medicine there. Anyway, you guys let me know what you thought of that trailer down below. I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, click that subscribe button. Smash it, press it, whatever you to do. Get subscribed. I talk fast, I stutter, I screw up the ends of videos. Because the end doesn't matter as much as the beginning. That's a fact. See you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.